A 14-year-old from California is America's new top young scientist. The eighth grader created a nanoparticle liquid bandage to replace antibiotics. Sure, I could have done that. She beat nine other finalists and hundreds of students who submitted ideas. The 3M Young Scientist Challenge is held every year in St. Paul, Minnesota. The national competition encourages middle schoolers to come up with projects to tackle global problems. Nikki Batiste got a behind-the-scenes look at the competition and a special tour of the 3M labs you will see only on CBS This Morning. I flunked seventh grade science. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed by it. <laughs> but you turned out okay. Yeah, I got a job. Yeah, you turned uh, out okay. What was it like to meet these kids? Well, it was humbling, if anything. I actually got an A in science, and now after meeting oh. these, these young kids, I'm wondering how that's possible. <laughs> these budding scientists exhibited strong scientific thinking, curiosity, and creative ways to communicate their findings. All ten of the finalists blew me away, but only one could take home the final prize. America's 2019 top young scientist is Cara Fan. Cara Fan was named America's top young scientist for 2019, snagging a $25,000 prize. I feel really shocked and surprised, but really excited at the same time. This is the nail silver I made. Judges were impressed by her nanoparticle liquid bandage. My project is important because it reduces the overuse of antibiotics. After two days of mind-twisting challenges and working one-on-one -on -one with world-renowned scientists more than twice their age okay, in a I sort of that. spelling me for science, these 10 finalists beat hundreds of their 5th to 8th grade peers for the chance to present their final projects in front of 3M and Discovery executives. I would have a solar panel. And Caroline Crouchley got second place. She created a sustainable train that she says is safer and more efficient than Elon Musk's Hyperloop. Four million children develop asthma every year due to air pollution from cars and trucks, and there are 11,000 new cases every day. So I want to prevent all of this from happening. You want to make the air we breathe safer? Yeah. I designed, developed a new train idea that can use renewable energy sources instead of fossil fuels, so it would help the environment. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Thank you. First, you input a gesture. Faraz Tamboli created a device that translates sign language into voice and voice into sign language. When my dad was around my age, there was this kid, and he always wanted to play with my dad. But since he was a phonic, he couldn't uh, talk to my dad and tell him that he just wanted to play with him. So my dad got scared and ran away. His competition video illustrates his idea. I thought, why can't I translate their only way of communication, sign language, and started thinking of how to recognize the hand and its gestures and figure out the movement of the hand. I learned a lot more about programming and how it works. Before their final presentations, the young scientists toured 3M's Innovation Center to see some adult projects like this echo-free chamber. Yeah. What these young minds have learned may be a lesson not just in science, but in life. My takeaway from this project is that if you work well with other people, then great things happen. I'm proud of myself. Doing this project was fun, but I also just really wanted to help the deaf and phonic. So in the future, I don't have to think, look back and see that I've, uh, there's still a problem in this world. And though there's only one middle schooler taking home the title of America's top young scientist, they all leave winners. What's the takeaway from this experience for you? Um, that I still won. I was a finalist and I made it this far. So it's good that I put the effort in and I didn't give up. One of the most impressive things to see was that these kids were more interested in making their projects a reality than just winning. They truly want to change the world. Past winners have met the president, been in, featured in Forbes 30 Under 30 list, spoken before Congress, and given TED Talks. If these kids are our future, I'm pretty optimistic. Yeah, I want to ride in Caroline Crowley's train. Oh, yeah. no, That's true. It's amazing. I mean, use a, uses a magnet. And the sign language translator is really useful. I want to put that in the, into practice. Uh, any slackers there with potatoes or no. the baking soda volcano? No yeah. slackers. No. Caroline said her mentor's best advice was never procrastinate. Yeah, they can't drive, but they can certainly change the world. Yeah. I love when you complimented her and she just said thank, thank you. you. Really and Elon nice. Musk, she wants a phone call. For okay. <laughs> All right. That could happen. Thank you very much, Nikki.